In this video, we are going to finish our NGL or natural gas liquids with workshop. As we mentioned before, this is our deacinizer. Here, we are going to function the object of the deacinizer, which is to produce a bottom product. This is the bottom product. Double click here to open it. With the least amount possible of ethane, because it's a deacinizer, so it's removing the ethane at the overhead and the rest of ethane the traces will be at the bottom but the majority of the bottom will be propane okay so if we look at the composition we'll find out that the ethane composition is 0.004 and the propane is a high composition actually this is the highest mole fraction here it's 0.6 uh, almost 60 percent of the feed uh, or the bottom stream as propane okay but as we, I mentioned before, the objective of the deethanizer column is to produce a bottom product with an ethane to propane molar ratio, say uh, 0.01. So for each one ethane mole, you will have 100 uh, propane mole. Okay, so how to define this one? We go to, uh, this is a spec, so we go to monitor, monitor here and we are going to add another spec here okay so to add another spec we add this spec from here but if we add another spec this will upset the degree of freedom because our degree of freedom equals to zero which means it's fully converged and all the data is available okay so in this case we are going to deactivate one of the active uh, specified value and we are going to add another um, spec which is the column component ratio because here we have a component ratio in this case as i mentioned before the rate is the least important okay because most of the time we don't use the any rate to um, define uh, or to make the degree of freedom uh, satisfied okay so in this case this actually equal to one it's a, a rate but it is equal to zero so it doesn't matter because the rate is equal to zero but this one is 3100 uh, no so this is 317.5 kilogram mole per hour this one must be inactive okay and we are going to add another speed so in this case we are going to add this big and in this case we know we have a column component ratio so we go to a column component ratio and the ratio is between the ethane and the propane for each ethane we have 100 propane okay so double click to add it and after the double click we will have this one it's a component ratio and it's for the stage of a reboiler this is our last stage or the bottom so we take we take the bottom from the reboiler it's a mole fraction and it's in a liquid phase we know that we need it to be 0.01 this is the value okay this one 0.01 and the nom nominator or the top or the top component is the ethane and the bottom is propane so dividing ethane by propane equal to 1 over 100 okay so we now have our spec fully uh, defined so we will close here and go to the component ratio and we will make it active after making it active it will be unconverged because the degree of freedom equal negative one which means we have added more information that we need so in this case we uncheck the overhead vapor rate like this one and it will be converted again without actually pressing run it will be automatically changed so our component ratio here this one if we view it the component ratio we will call it c2 or ethane divided by propane and okay now we will have this one active the component ratio second one is the reflux ratio and the third one is the distillate rate okay we are which means we are not going to have any distillate uh, from the condenser so now after doing this one um, adding this new spec let's check 
the overhead vapor rate before we specified to be 317.5 but after the calculations it's only 307 okay so this is the current value of the overhead uh, in the d ethanizer okay so it's less than the one that we actually define also in this um, in this uh, section we need to define the plots if we have um, maybe in this case we have 15 tray and do we want to know the composition of a component at each tray how to know it from the performance you have here plots okay we can add the tray by tray okay tray by tray properties we want here to draw each tray with a composition okay so in this case i'm going to add a composition so i am going to know the composition at each tree if i'm if i mention that i want to view the graph it will show like be shown like this and this one this is for ethane for ethane at the first there is no tray here this is our first tray the composition is high and with moving down this one it's like moving down in the column the composition with will decrease okay so this is our uh, different component if you want to change anything okay let's uh, make it smaller and if you want to change or edit anything in the column you should go to properties where is properties this is properties okay if we open it here uh, actually everything is open tightly so you can choose whatever component that you want to draw so in this case maybe i'm going to check for the methane only okay the methane only and it's a molar maybe i'm changing it to a math and in the vapor okay we are uh, drawing it so maybe in the vapor phase okay and if i close you will find out that at the top this is the top of the tower the composition of methane is high but moving down okay till we reach tree number nine here we almost don't have any composition of methane so if you want to plot any graph showing maybe ethane or propane mole fraction in a vapor phase or a liquid phase with the theoretical stage this this or the theoretical stage you can go to performance and from performance you check plot here you have a summary of what is happening through the deethanizer this is the column profile in this case you have a condenser and a reboiler and this is the 14 trays that we have you have the temperature the pressure the liquid and the vapor okay also you can check here the feed and the products okay as a condenser and the reboiler and different trays and we here from this uh, performance page you know that the feed enter at tray number six and so this is information related to the reboiler and the condenser like the duty so if you are asked about the distillation column condenser duty you enter the performance and at the performance you will find the condenser and the reboiler separated at the bottom so the duty here um, is 6.8 thousand kilo joule per hour and this is the duty it's 1.1 1 .1, um 10 with the power 7 kilojoule per hour okay this is the reflux flow rate and this is the outlet flow rate most of the time if you are asked any question about a, a duty a performance a composition a flow rate it's recommended to open the unit operation which in this case is our fraction distillation or here the reboiled absorber and go to the performance as the performance you will find information about here we don't have a condenser so all the information that you need about the reboiler there is a summary of the feed and the product okay so it's always recommended don't forget to always go to the performance okay so now we are done or we have finished our natural gas liquids fractionation methanizer and deethanizer um let's talk about uh, the process we have a feed that enter here and at the beginning it's a demethanizer so we are separating the methane at the top and the rest of the feed will be pumped to deethanizer as the overhead here most of the flow uh, composition will be ethane and here the majority will be propane 
Uh, later in this course, we are going to talk about a uh, fractional distillation and column, but it will be in a different case. We are going to analyze an atmospheric column workshop.